Hello my friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Anovella, today is Friday and let me into deep dive. And I have chosen for Jacqueline Hartmann's Moi qui n'ai pas connu des hommes or in English translated I who have never known men. The English translation came out one or two years ago so it's easily available and it is an amazing book. So Jacqueline Hartmann, and that's very important to know, was not only a Belgian, she lived in Brussels and there she worked as a psychoanalyst. She passed away some 25 years ago, I believe. And the story goes as follows. So we are in a basement, a cave or a basement, yeah. And the story is told by a young girl, a very young girl, who is captured together with 39 other women. Those women are a lot older than she is, at least 40 years and even more. The women have a vague recollection of the old world and they clearly had an education, but nobody knows why they're there, nobody knows what happened, they are just there. And the young girl uh, was raised without any affection because it was forbidden to touch each other. It was also forbidden to raise your voice or whatever. And they were really trained, those women were really trained to obey and and do ever whatever uh, everything what uh, a guard said. There was no contact between the guards and the women. So don't be scared to read anything about uh, uh, rape or whatever. No, there's nothing of the sort. At a certain point, one of the guards comes down and he opens the gate to feed them, and an alarm goes off, and suddenly all the guards are gone. But the gate is unlocked. And after a while, the little, the young girl has the courage to open the gate and to go up outside. And what they see is a vast plain. No mountains, no hills, no trees, no birds in the sky, no animals, no uh, rabbits or whatever, nothing. Just a weird type of grass and a grey sky and emptiness, huge, vast emptiness. So the women all come up and they start to decide, well, we can't stay here. We have to go somewhere. So they take all the food that the men have left behind and they start walking for months and months, very long time, just enough. They had just enough food. And there I will start uh, stop the spoiler. But this is a story where the question is asked, what are we without our memories? What are we without external influences? What are we without education? What are we without hope? and without human contact, other human contact. And it is an amazing story. It is also a story about survival, of course, but it also asks the question if survival isn't just putting off death in a way. And it is a hugely impactful uh, novel. It makes you question everything. And so we follow the young girl. She, when they, once they get out, she asked the elder ladies, please teach me how to read and write. And the women don't see the point of it, but she really begs them to do it. And reluctantly they learn her how to read and write. And then she starts to educate herself or tries to find a meaning in her life. And that is very difficult if you don't have any structure, if you have no sense of time 
if you don't know, if you're walking all day and you don't know how much you have walked, it is really difficult to grasp what you have done that day. Because it's possible that they, yeah, it, and that's very important. And it's such a fascinating novel, so fascinating. Is it worth fighting for your life if you're not sure that you will ever see another human being again? Or even a dog or a cat or something to love? Because, of course, she has never known what it's like to fall in love or to talk to a man, for instance, or whatever. No contact whatsoever, no. We have, we have um, a saying, in, a word in Dutch, and that's called huidhonger. And huidhonger is skin hunger. I don't know if you ever experienced that, but if you are alone for a very long time without any pets or whatever, your skin really craves of being touched. And that's why a lot of people who are alone are so depressed because their skin, which is also an organ, is, is craving for being touched. And that's why they always say have a pet that's better for your mental health because you have that human touch. You have that touch, your skin is being touched, is feeling the warmth or the heartbeat of another be uh, living being. So it's a very, very interesting, gothic, dystopian novel. Of course, they discover stuff, but it's not what you think. And yeah, it's uh, it asks so many interesting questions. I highly recommend this book, together with that book, of course, my most favorite book of all time is The Wall by Marlon Haushofer. It is very similar. It asks, in a way, more or less the same questions. And yeah, it's, it's brilliant. It's a brilliant book. It, it knocked me out of my, off my feet. I really, really enjoy it and I highly recommend it. So if you like science fiction or psychological fiction or dystopian fiction without all the horror, but just the thought, it is an amazing, amazing book. It's short, so don't worry. It won't take you long to read it. It's about 200 pages. The, um, I've read it in English and in French. I first read the French and then I, uh, to make sure I understood everything well, but I did. I also got myself the E version of uh, I Who Have Never Known Men and it's really brilliant. I will read a lot more of Hartman. It's, it's a shame that we in Flanders at least or in Dutch speaking part of the world have never heard of her and I, I presume uh, in the English part of the world either, but this was absolutely stunning. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you on Sunday for a coffee clutch. Bye-bye.